Okay. Bill Kelly, you had Dinesh D'Souza, the uh, filmmaker for 2016, Obama's America, for a private screening in Chicago a couple of weeks ago. Talk about that. Yeah, um, I realized uh, months and months ago that the number one issue of this, uh, of this you know, presidential election year was going to be, will America continue to be a capitalist country or will it become a country that is, uh, uh, fosters nothing but government dependency? And uh, so I started a foundation called Free Capitalism Now or freecapitalismnow.com and uh, what we do with this uh, foundation is we promote conservatives in the media, uh, in, in the entertainment industry. Um, my business, where I make money, I don't make money from politics, you know, I make money from business, um, is a production company. I started it from scratch, now it's an Emmy Award winning production company. Um, and so uh, what I decided that I could do, my contribution, would be to produce PSAs, Public Service Announcements, 30-second PSAs, promoting capitalism. Now, why would we have to do that? Because for decades now, the universities have been miseducating children and telling them that capitalism is the problem, okay? Capitalism is not the problem with our society. Capitalism is the solution, okay? Um, the reason why we have the, f you know, the, mo the f the, the wealthiest country, the most powerful country, the most uh, free country is because of, co uh, of capitalism, okay, not communism. Uh, ca uh, communism or even socialism uh, only works to keep people down, okay? So, um, so I thought we have to promote uh, capitalism. Obviously the media, uh, the entertainment industry, the universities, the Democrats <laughs> are going to be doing everything in their power to try to make the Republican nominee, whoever he turned out, who turns out to be, obviously Romney, um, uh, to, to try to make them out to be somehow bad, evil capitalists. And uh, so uh, I'm trying through freecapitalismnow.com to promote capitalism. If you go to that website, you'll see these PSAs. One of the things that we got an opportunity to do, which I was so excited and happy and proud to do, was bring Dinesh D'Souza to Chicago, uh, Barack Obama's adopted hometown, uh, quote unquote. Um, and uh, we all know Barack Obama's not from Chicago, but uh, regardless. And, um, and uh, you know, Dinesh D'Souza uh, got a chance to show his film, uh, 2016. And uh, he, uh, we did a Q&A, and uh, you can see all that video at freecapitalismnow.com. And what Dinesh D'Souza really did with his film, uh, and what, this is why it's so important to have conservatives in the media, in the entertainment industry, is he was able to ask some of the questions and bring some of the information out that the media has refused to do for four years, that the Chicago media has violently refused to do. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I wish I could do that to the Chicago media. Yeah. Let me tell you. Um, but uh, but here's what happened: is that uh, uh, Dinesh D'Souza really all he did was just ask very very simple questions. Barack Obama wrote a book, Dreams from My Father. Okay, you don't even have to read the book. Everything you need to know about Barack Obama is right there in the title of that book. All you need to do is ask, who is Barack Obama's father? Okay? He didn't, say dream, he didn't say my dream, he said dreams from my father. Okay? So who is Barack Obama's father? Barack Obama's father is a radical communist. Okay? Um, and, uh, and, and then the other obvious question that you should ask if you're in the media or if you're um, opposing Barack Obama is what was his father's dream? Barack Obama's father's dream was to redistribute wealth. Okay? Now, the average person could say, well, okay, fine, that's what Democrats do. They want to redistribute wealth. Well, the problem is that whereas the average Democrat wants to redistribute wealth within this country, Barack Obama's dream is to redistribute American wealth globally. And that's what he's been doing. And that's, uh, that might start to, uh, you might, and once you realize that, you might start to understand why, <laughs> um, you know, an American president is actually letting other countries uh, take not only money from America, but, uh, but opportunities from America when it comes to energy and, and other you know, big ticket items.
Okay? So here we have a situation now where if the average American understood, if the average Democrat understood that Barack Obama's goal is to redistribute their wealth, then I don't think that they would support him, okay? Uh, because the aver even the average Democrat understands that America's broke, okay? Illinois is broke. Look what's going on with these pensions, these unfunded uh, you know, liabilities across the board. We cannot afford to try to equalize the, uh, the rest of the world by, by, by transferring wealth from America to third world countries. Well, that, that will result in, in America becoming a third world country. Thank God Dinesh D'Souza would have would made this movie, and uh, I would encourage everybody to see 2016. If they haven't already seen it, they can go to freecapitalismnow.com, find out how to get a, uh, a DVD of the film, and um, hopefully share it with an undecided voter, somebody who, uh, who just hasn't had the benefit of this information yet. All right. Thank you.